Here is the list of parts that we will need for this little project. We will also need a couple of alligators, preferably black and red, and a couple of plastic cards that we will join together to form a base. First, glue the potentiometer, switch and regulator to the plastic base. I am using epoxy glue that is very strong and gives good results. Solder the resistor between the first two pins of the regulator and the positive of the battery clip to the switch and from the switch to the last pin of the regulator. The negative of the battery clip goes to the center of the potentiometer. The last connections are one wire from the first pin of the potentiometer to the first pin of the regulator. And the two alligators are the negative to the center pin of the pot and the positive to the center pin of the regulator. The power supply is now ready. We have added the battery with the help of a couple of neodymium magnets. And it is also convenient to glue the wires because otherwise the movement will desolder the wires from these points. Now let's see how it works. I have now the meter connected to the output of our power supply. Let me put it on and set the voltage to the minimum value. This minimum value is not zero, it's 1.25 volts. This is a characteristic of the 317 regulator. And we can vary the voltage continuously up to the maximum value that is also 1.25 volts less than the maximum voltage of the battery. This little power supply can give a maximum current output of around 1 amp. It is useful for small projects that do not require higher currents. As a finishing touch, you can add a knob to the potentiometer and some rubber tabs to the base. 